Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. Long time, no see. It's been a couple of months since we last uploaded. I apologize for that. Uh, I've had a lot going on. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll go particularly too into detail. Maybe I will, but in a different video if I am to do so. Um, but I had a lot going on uh, that has just really stopped me from being able to record, and I didn't... I kind of didn't want to have sort of spots here and there. I'd rather just sort of wait it out for a little bit until I could get everything back on track, hopefully. Instead of having, you know, lots of little gaps, just have one big gap and then we're back. Didn't expect it to take as long as it did, but we are now back. Um, so this is the first video I'm recording since I'm back, uh, but I will have uh, 550 uh, coming out before this, so there isn't as much of a gap, but we're back onto it now. This is 501 on the uh, main server, and we are here back at the camp of the host. Before we do start, we have to go and do our Hobbit gift of the day and of the week. Let's have a little look. Oh, we also have a few things in here that I didn't really see yet. As I said, I haven't been playing, so I'm not really sure what's been going on. Some universal power potions, that's fine. And then we also have a Tome of Vitality 6. That's actually really, really good if we had the uh, the prerequisites for that, but we can hold on to that for now. I'll lock it so I don't accidentally... I don't think you can sell it, but just in case. And then we have uh, two things here from the anniversary, it seems. Um, yeah, so the seven-year gift box and a title, uh, seven stars. So let's use that and get that title. And we completed a deed and a title awarded to us. Uh, it contains fireworks, a cosmetic shield item, and one black steel key. Okay, so maybe that will be worth using on one of these um, at the end of today's episode. So yeah, we get a cosmetic shield, which... We can put on our back if we want to. Uh, some fireworks, which I'm not really fussed about, and some uh, black steel key, which is nice. Maybe, as I said, we'll use that at the end of next episode. Uh, we also have... Um, do we have it? Uh, no, I don't think it's in my inventory. I want to, uh, um, you know, disenchant this item, but I don't think we have that thing yet. We'll have to hold off for now. I think it's when we get into Mordor, but... Um, Speaking of, that is not what we want. Do we just end off with Aragorn as our next quest, I think? Yeah, book eight, chapter one. Victory lies with so I'm not sure how much we'll get we done today, to um, to but obviously we're making our way onto uh, Mordor soon enough. So find Daven uh, at the northern edge of the camp of the host. So when we get past this little bit and sort of just going into Mordor, uh, plus past the Black Gate, I think I've said this before, but that is pretty much the extent of my knowledge. Uh, past that, I am pretty, you know, blind. And even beforehand, all this stuff we've been doing is where I was also blind to what I was doing. So this is a little spot of time where we sort of know what we're doing, but it's been a very long time since I have actually been here. So... So, Devon and Pippin are staring out to the road ahead. This road will take us to the very gate of Mordor. Okay, that is, that is, I'm sure it's going to be an easy to way Mordor. over. No one could mistake it for anything else. Alright, so we are pretty sure that is the gate of the road to Mordor. That's fine. Uh, back to Aragorn. And yeah, we do have a bonus XP obviously as well. That's going to be useful. Hopefully uh, we get a decent amount of uh, questing done today. What levels are these? 105. So we are over leveled, um, but I think I've also mentioned this. That should help us out because while we're not going to be getting much, uh, as much XP here, it is going to help us out because we're not going to have that sort of um, annoyance which I had when I first went in Mordor at 105 when it first came out because I'm not going to just get completely killed straight away. So are the men ready to march? Let's see. Are they ready to march? Worry gnaws at me, my friend. Okay. Um, talk to Mithrandir and experience interlude no other way. Oh, love interludes. Maybe we'll get some of those cinematics. Oh, I know which one this is. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's get this one done. Up, up, up the stairs. Gollum, gollum. And then the tunnel. Yes. This way, good hobbits is. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Frodo, talk to Nice Master. Oh yeah, so this is, uh, oh, we can't go that far over. Yeah, Imlad Morgul, uh, so we can see that there. 
So, climb the final stairs with the hobbitses. So this lovely stairway. You got a really weird walking if you walk backwards and turn. Even with walking, they're very, very slow. So let's, uh, let's wait for these guys. What was it Gollum said was at the top of the stairs? I'm not sure what is at the top. I don't want to go too far ahead of them because I feel like a tunnel. Yeah, I don't want to go too far ahead of them just because I don't want anything to mess up. Well, tunnels and stairs, I've probably chosen the not greatest thing for you. The stairs, the tunnel, and Mordor. Who'd have thought we'd make it there? Quite a uh, intimidating sight right here. Definitely not. Uh, the nicest view to see. There's a tower over the pass. Yes, I was just talking about it. And as I said, I'm not a huge fan of the look. The red lights in the... in the window. Yeah, this is probably just like the least or the most easiest to like, you know, to go through. Right. Talk to Frodo. Summon any rest from the climb before we move on for the tunnel you mentioned. I'm exhausted. I do not want to pass this. Uh, want us to pass beneath that tower without recovering what other strength we may. You should lie down and get some sleep as well. We all need our rest for what lies ahead, I imagine. Lie down. Sleep, precious. Yes, for a little while. So, sleep. We're going to wait for them to talk and not pay attention to us, I assume. I was going to say, they probably don't drink what we're after. What's this one skill we've got as well? Oh, I didn't mean to click it. Murder. The hobbits must die. They must die, that Gollum, but not yet. Enough. Not yet. Yes, precious. Time to slip away. Right, they totally don't see me do this. Whoa. They totally don't notice this at all. <laughs> oh, I can I can run now. What do you want, precious? Leave me alone. Weak. Do not listen to him. Call him. Call him. This is some remains. Yeah. People have tried to pass through here without much success. Anything in this way? Will it let us go through here? It will. Lots more remains. Nothing really much else, it seems. Sneak east to the tunnel. Once we have the precious, we will be the master. So this tunnel right here. I'm gonna guess there doesn't seem to be money else. Leave us alone, Smeagol. This is the only way. Got them. Please don't go inside the tunnel. We can't bring the hobbits to her. She'll eat them. Yes, 
Oh, I just realized who it was. Yes, yeah, not just the fat one, but the master too, and Smeagol can't do that to them. No precious, no, don't go to her. She won't want the precious, though. No, indeed. Clayton. Now watch was the right way. Gollum. Oh. Just be very careful. <laughs> Don't want to get stuck in anything. Be very, very cautious watching around us all the way. Right, anything? No, just quite a long walk. This could be something. It looks like it won't let us through. That looks like it might be a bit more. Yeah, I know. Almost there, precious. Almost there. Yeah, I just tried to like raise my head when I was doing that as if it would let me see further, but obviously that's not how that works. Alright, this is looking like the place. Yes. Not tasty. No, not tasty at all. But Smeagol, he brings you tasty foods. Yes. They are almost here. Got him. Got him. A gift, yes. A gift for you. And then we will be free of our promise. And the precious will be ours. There is no other way, Smeagol. No other way. Okay, we're back in uh, the camp of the host then. Let's talk to Mithrandir and finish in that heart, off. I guess that Frodo and Gollum would meet before the end. So let my us... My thoughts are also with Frodo and Sam. Fit for their safety in the company of Gollum. So do I with that uh, whole thing. This is finish you now. To be our last battle. Okay, so we have uh, 92,000 XP, 40 silver, so really not enough considering how much I spent to get here. Uh, and let's put these back on. Talk to Lothrandia south of the Arise at the Camp of the Host. I don't think we're yet to go into battle. I think there's a few more preparations to be had. Um, I'll probably just dedicate an episode to that whole thing. Um, instead of, like, you know, having it squished at the end of an episode or something. So... Who do we need to talk to? L L L Lothrandia. I can say that word. Oh, okay, so is he like thinking of something? Yeah, it's thoughts of home. Uh, of my ventures in the wooded lands of Enidwaith and the rocky heights of Thrums Coom. Uh, but there are dwarfed now by the memories of the last few weeks from the dungeons of Isengard to the fighting on Pelennor. Our journey has been full of hardship. Top to Radanir in the southeast of Lothrandir's position in the camp of the host. So, oh, there's an enemy right there. Our oh, prowler. That's not a huge problem. So they're all thinking of their own, like, memories because they're in their, in their mind they're gonna die probably. Um, okay. 
Okay, so yeah, as I said, just all thinking of their memories from previous. So Coronair should be down here. Yep, he's thinking of uh, the whole Angmar sort of thing. Um, so, so what was that? Yeah, Mordorith, that was it. No matter what name is yourself, I'm not afraid of death, for I have lived a life enriched by friendship and laughter, and I know that endings must always come soon or late. At least they're all taking it relatively well. They're not all just like, I don't want to know it. This was the one in Evendim, if I remember correctly. Kalinglad, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but my heart remains on the shores of Lake, Lake Nenuel. So, that's our final one then. Now talk to Aragorn. I don't know if we can make it from here. Probably not. Actually, surprisingly. I was about to say there's just a lady levitating, but yeah. Makes sense. He turns to face you. Well, I came from the other direction, so not very good. None of us are free of worry, but still we move forward. This is all we can do. This is what we must do. I agree. I will give the order for the host of the West to begin its march. Okay, so we'll have a little scout ahead. Kill six enemies, which shouldn't take too long, uh, especially with us being a couple levels over. And then I think, you know, um, we'll finish for today. Get back into the track of th on track of things and just um, wait. Right. Am I in the right spot? I'm just trying to work out. Okay, I'm going to assume it's just over here. Yeah, I'm just going to assume we're down here. I'm pretty sure we are. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this, you know, get back into the sort of flow of things um, and then hopefully with that we can stay on track with everything, you know, not have any more massive breaks in between and uh, everything should be good. Um, oh, I did not mean to click on that. But yeah, we'll do this, get on track, yeah. Get back with the legendary stuff as well and then everything should be good. Do you count? You probably do not. Oh, you do. Nice. Oh, it's like when I can find the easier enemy of the lot. <laughs> Makes my life a little bit easier. So all these, I'm going to assume if that count, do you count? Yes, you do. With only 15k compared to these guys with 57. I'd rather be attacking the lower health enemies just to get it done a little bit quicker. And XP wise, I understand they are going to give us more XP. In fact, these guys give us more XP than the, uh, the Krabans, but which makes sense actually because of the, the health, but um, we're not too worried about like having to get XP because we're not trying to get to like 105 in the meantime. Right, talk to Langless in the ruin over here. And then we also have our black steel key to use at the end of the episode. I just remembered because we had picked up some of these. Um, in fact, we picked up two. I have completely lost my track of where I am. But yeah, picked up two in a row. You know, as as is tradition at this point, always to have one of those. Um, or at least one. Considering we've only killed six enemies today, having two, you know, that's a, quite a good, <laughs> quite a high amount of... Uh, ones. Is it going to be here? No, I think he's over here. We'll see what he wants us to do. He might. We might just end up here and then it might be a new quest. If it's a new quest, we'll finish up. Uh, do the black steel key and then see where we're at. I was going to say though, for that, that's what I get for a seven year one. Yeah, I get three of those for a, like a three year one. But yeah, that's only because they got like transferred from uh, different. Um, they got transferred from like old sturdy steel keys. Speaking of though, I want to check. Yeah, the minimum level is 15. That's a weird thing. There's minimum level 15, but these ones are 20 to 115. I assume then there must be some travelers still around loot boxes that are for like 15 to 20 ish. And then obviously you got like the 116 to like 120 ish ones. Sickly light plays over the stones of he uh, heron deer and the air smells foul. This is a dead place. An empty place. I do not like it. Okay, now he wants us to do quite a lot. We need to find four different, well, find f three different places and 
then go and uh, kill some enemies. So what I'm probably going to do, we have to, yeah, just foes in general. There's probably going to be enemies at these three places, so we can do that relatively easily. Um, this one I think I'll do last, because in theory, I'm going to have to come back here to complete the quest. So it only makes sense I go here, here, and back, or here, here, back. And there's going to be enemies, obviously, in these areas. It's not just going to be these three dots here. Um, plus, generally, I think you, you would still count. Yeah. Yeah, you still count as enemies. So, obviously, there's enemies all around. There's no point in, like, having the entire map covered. So, yeah. This one quest, which I thought wasn't going to take a while, has actually turned out to be quite a bigger one. Um, what I will do most likely because I'm going to assume there's a lot of like orcs and stuff in these uh, ruin sort of areas. I'm going to just go there, find it according to the quest and then after that we'll just, you know leave. Oh this annoys me. Why are they not oh, I get why they're not capitalized because they're not like names of anything but confuse me. I'm not going to go against you your warband technically or roving threat. Yeah. Decline it's just really weird having like one capitalized and the rest not. Well, two capitalized technically, but. So as soon as we get in here. You probably just like. Do that. Yeah. There's a bunch of enemies. They're actually not that powerful. If I could get off my horse, that would be real nice. Thank you. I might just kill these sentries just to get the numbers up. Yeah, because these guys only got 20k health. That's less than the, like, the bears and stuff around here. And decent XP as well. So we'll head directly east. Go straight into here, hopefully not have any enemies that tag us. And then, we'll go back down, kill a bunch of enemies sort of on the way, I guess. We'll probably go non-war steed back and then just come up here, uh, kill the remaining that we need, and find this place, which I assume is going to be Dumboa, which I think we've already been to, yeah. But I think that was in that, um, it wasn't a session play, it was an instance, I think, uh, where we had, I think it was actually in... Not the last episode, but episode 499, so the last episode in this area. So... Now, is this going to be just enemies, or is this going to be actually discovering the place? Because I have a feeling I'm going to actually have to go up here. Oh, it's got, like, banners around it. I don't know what type of banners they are. I'm like... Ghost enemies. Our horse just like died. That's worrying. Is that that's why we got dismounted? It's because our horse just like right. We can't go in there for long. Do we have to go on the pathway specifically? Is it even if we go on the pathway, we're screwed? Okay. That's, <laughs> yeah, let's do that only. I'm not going anywhere near that, considering what just happened. And yeah, 62k. I am not wanting to go near there. That was very close to us dying. Um, which would have not been fun. It would have probably taken us back to here, I think it is. Like, it's, I saw one of the spawning circle things here. So it would have actually been not too bad. But... You know, a lot of these, uh, you know, prospector things, but we're still not up to date. Well, we're not even prospector, but we're not up to date on anybody with that. Not even my main can mine those yet. Because I am stuck on one that was kind of the awkward one that just takes forever. And I'm not willing to spend, like, all my gold just to get it. So I'm doing it little by little. I expected more enemies. Also, 
Yeah, I'm gonna just get rid of that deed. It's gonna be a long time from now when we do deeding episodes here. <laughs> oh, floating names. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I expected some enemies, but I guess, you know, all this destruction here would assume that they've already been killed. Now, we need to go into there, it seems. Or is it... It's up here, isn't it? Is there any way we can get there from here? Or do we have to go up that path? It looks like we might be able to. So I'm going to dismount. Yeah, it looks like we can. And then just kill a couple of enemies here. And then be done. Hopefully. This quest is taking a while. Started off with, like, kill six enemies, then it turned into, like, kill 14 enemies, plus all this stuff. Yeah, these guys have got low health as well. So I guess we'll just come in here, kill a few enemies, and, um... Well, actually, they're archers. They might be a bit of a pain. They're taking a bit more damage. So I'll take these two guys out, like, the sentries. That gets us a deed as well. And then we'll just go kill a bunch of, like, regular old enemies. Like bears and, and cravens and stuff. They can't fight back as much. What did we get? A tattered Doomfold parchment. That's just, yeah, skull item for the Doomfold. But we're still in the Easter Minute, so we're a little bit far away. Uh, we have some Easter Minute sealed wax. That's uh, fun. But I really haven't been working on that as much as I definitely should have been, so... That's something I need to do. And I've probably been saying I need to do it for months now. Well, definitely if the last episode was two, three months ago months before even that. Probably at least half a year. Alright. Now, just... Good thing about this as well, actually, is we're getting Norian hides. Um, I do think I have a tailor that can do that. Um, if not, we'll... You know, it's not too difficult to get one up to there, because... You just have to kill regular enemies to get a Norian, like, not a Norian hide, but any hide, really. It's not something you have to go out of your way and get a node for. Um, you just kill an enemy and then, you know, you get the hide. It's a very easy, you know, skill, all things considered. Um, so yeah, probably worth thinking about working on it. Maybe just spend a couple of hours going around, killing, just every enemy I can see. <laughs> I probably have a bunch of the hides still on my main, and uh, even if I have to kill a load here, you know, on my main, uh, and do that, not going to be a huge problem. Right, four more enemies. I think I saw one more boar over here somewhere, plus, yeah, it was over here, there's a red dot here. Oh, we would have probably come over here on that circle actually would have been relatively good. Though I don't think we came past it, so I don't know if that would, like... I can't remember if it's... Is it just the closest one in general? Is it the last one you went past sort of thing? Like, you have to go close to it to sort of have the game realize you're there. I think it's just the closest, because I'm pretty sure in the last area we... Um, fell off, like, we hit the, yeah, it was like the waterfall or something, we died to the waterfall, um, and then it took us to a place we'd not been before, but we actually needed to go to, so I'm assuming it is just going to be last place you saw, um, or closest place to your current location. Right. Now we need to go back that way, so we should have done all this first. We'll talk to Aragorn. Um, I have a feeling that after this quest, it is going to be like, hey, we're now going to storm the Black Gate, which will be then next episode. We'll focus on that later. Um, definitely not for today, because even this quest has extended the episode by quite a bit more than I thought it was going to be. But I guess it's a good return to form. Um, so it's not going to be a huge problem. As long as we don't have to uh, go up here again. I'm just scared of this place now, I think. I can't remember having to go there for that quest, like... Either because it's just been so long, or if it's just like, you know... Um, generally forgetting stuff. But I know this for a fact does damage us. Um, but I don't remember it doing that. Either that or I never had that experience and I just sort of went to that area and 
it was done. Alright, so I found Aragorn. Talked to Aragorn at the base. We have come to it at last. And now we need to look towards the Black Gate. It's quite impressive. The field before the Black Gate of Mordor is empty and quiet. Right, go back. We're going to talk to Aragorn. That is going to be us done for today. We're going to do that Black Steel Key before um, we go. And then we will be done for the episode. So, Aragorn. Sauron is waiting. All is quiet and still, I see. I'm not surprised Sauron is waiting. I do not take the empty calm before the gate to be a fact. Now this should you, the Dark Lord's armies, are arrayed before us. Though we see them not, he waits to unleash them. For he wants to see what we will do. There so do that. No sense in delay. We're going to accept come. this quest. We're not going to do it yet. But are that will take to us go? to go do a solo quest and uh, that whole thing is the Battle of the Black Gate. Um, I think it might be one more quest before that. Like, because it said solo quest. I don't know if that's just we can't do it with the battleship because that's where it's designed. Or if it's something bef like, you know, calm before the storm sort of thing. But we're going to go up here. We're going to have a little, uh, you know, nice big area to look at. We're going to take our black steel key that we got earlier. And we're going to do, I know, the third one. We're going to shut our inventory. And I am going to close my eyes because I learned last time not to do that because it comes up on the screen. And then we'll see what we get. So three, two, one. No idea what we got. I'm going to open my eyes in three, two, one. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Three, two, one. There we are. That sounds like a better sound. All right, and open it in three, two, one. All right. Okay, so we got 360 motes of enchantment, an unidentified third age legendary item box. Minimum level 51. Okay, so that might be useful. Um, I've been meaning to upgrade mine for ages to uh, level uh, to a second age. So that's could be useful, could be not. We get a tome of the big wasp, so I always like my uh, my skills, my pets and stuff. And a swift uh, camel of the traveler. It looks to be better armor, uh, better agility, worse vitality, however. But we do get fate and light of Arendil. So I'm going to hold on to that. I'm not going to equip it just yet. But when we're in Mordor, that stuff is very, very useful for us. So uh, let me just lock all those up. What was the other thing we got? Uh, oh, the Moats of Enchantment, so not really useful to us. So, that's going to be it for now then. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.